Hello and welcome to Storesium. Today we're going to have some fun in Adobe After Effects. We're going to combine tracking with a couple of other effects to create this animated outline effect. You could use this to highlight something in a real estate video for example, or maybe use this to create a flashy effect in a car video. The possibilities are endless here, so let's jump straight into After Effects after the message of our sponsor. If you want to build your own website or web store, then definitely check out Squarespace. I've used them for more than two years now and I can confirm that it's easy to start with their award-winning templates, even if you don't have any experience with web design. And their templates are built in such a way that it will look great on any device, like your PC, tablet or smartphone. Use the link squarespace.com slash tourism to get a free trial or 10% discount on your first purchase. The links can be found in the video description. Inside After Effects, I've already got this clip on the timeline, which is coming from ArtGrid, by the way. We're going to start by adding an effect. Inside the Effects and Presets panel, we're going to search for the Mocha effect. This plugin is only included in the latest versions of After Effects CC 2019 and newer, so if you can't find it, then it's time to upgrade. Let's apply this one to the selected clip and then head over to the Effects Control panel. You can then simply click on the Mocha logo and this will open up the plugin in a new window. This Mocha plugin can be used to do some more advanced motion tracking inside After Effects. And we are going to use this Mocha plugin to create ourselves a mask of the outside of the car. So let's start by clicking on this pen tool icon to create the first so-called X-Spline layer. We can now simply use the left mouse button to draw the shape around the car. If you need to zoom in, then hold the Z key combined with the left mouse button and then move up or down to zoom in or out. Hold the X key to activate the hand tool and with the left mouse button you can reposition the frame. I'm going to add the points a bit more roughly and also speed up the recording so this tutorial won't last forever. Once you get to the last point of this shape, you can right click somewhere else in the frame to exit this drawing mode. For this effect, we don't want very straight lines between the connection points of the mask. So that's why I'll select them all by hitting Ctrl plus A and then use these blue handles here to make the curves a bit more smoother. You will get the most rounded corners if you make the handles shorter like this. Ok, this is looking good. We can now start the tracking by hitting this button here. Mocha will now track and analyze every frame for movement and change the position and shape of the layer where needed. Ok, now that Mocha is ready with tracking, we can scrub to the timeline to see the results. Of course, we could optimize and fine-tune the tracking, but this is good enough for the sake of this tutorial. If you are satisfied with the results, then you can go to File and then select Save Project. You can then close this Mocha plugin and return to After Effects. Next, we're going to move over to the Effects Control Panel and open up the Matte section. Here, we're going to click on Create AE Masks. This will create a mask based on the layer that we created in Mocha, including keyframes. What I mean is when I open this mask layer, you can see that the mask path has keyframes for every individual frame. So when I scrub to the timeline, you can see the results of that. We're going to use the information in these keyframes to create the animated outline. And to do this, we're going to copy the data onto a shape layer. But first, we'll need to create one. So I'm going to right click below the video layer and select new and then select shape layer. Then I'll left click on mask path and hit Ctrl plus C to copy all the keyframes or Command C for the Mac users. Then open up the shape layer, click on add and select path. Open up the shape layer properties, click on path and hit Ctrl plus V to paste the keyframes. Now we can simply remove the mask layer from the original video clip by selecting it and hitting the delete key. In the next step we're going to add the stroke effect to the shape layer, click on add and select stroke. As you can see, this already created the outlines, but we'll need one more effect, which is the trim pads effect. To make the animation work properly, we need to put the stroke on top of the trim pads effect. And now we can play around with the stroke properties. First, let's set the width of the stroke, something like 12 or maybe 14 will do. Next, we can also change the color. Let's pick this more pink tint to give this a bit of a neon look. Now it's time to animate the outlines. Let's open up the properties of the trim pad effect and move a couple of frames forward. We're going to enable keyframes for offset and start by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Then we'll change the value for the first keyframe of the start properties to 100%. 
Then take the playhead and move this a couple of frames forward and then change the values again. We're going to make the offset cycle a couple of times. The higher the number, the faster it will move. And I will also set the start value to zero. And with these couple of keyframes, we've now created this effect. This is already looking very cool, but we're going to add one more effect as a final touch. In the effects and presets panel, we're going to search for the glow effect and apply this to the shape layer. The layer is a bit hidden, but here we go. Okay, and then inside the effects control panel, we're going to adjust some settings. We're going to start by changing the colors, I'll just pick one out of the frame. And for the second color, we'll pick the pink one. For the composite original setting, we're going to select on top and we'll set glow based on alpha channel. And finally, we can play around with glow radius and glow intensity. And that's it, let's have a look at the final result. I hope you enjoyed this After Effects tutorial and if you did then please like the video. I've got some more After Effects tutorials so maybe check out one of these two. But as always, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.